Tanya Sharp, what is she getting up to? Oh, in you know, season she's three? always up to something. Yeah. To no good, generally. But sorry. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes she does have a good heart, I would but say, occasionally. Does. You know, I think that's true. I think, uh, I like the fact that we're never really clear whether she's a force for good or a force for evil. Right. Um, and when she appears on the other side, I hope that doesn't make it clear what she is on this side. I hope we go for something different. Have yeah. we seen you on the other side yet? Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. I feel like they're building that up to be some kind of magnificent thing. Well, you know, I like to think that too. I don't yeah. that's true. But I think the curious thing is that if you, if one of the arcs is, is never trust the government or large co corporations, yeah. we can't lose that right. even in the midst of these two right. sides of the world. You know, because again, what would that function be in that other world? Right. You know, what would that big corporate world look like there? Yeah. In which way? And do they, you know, are they allies? Yeah. I think the, what's going to be interesting this year as we do explore both sides is, you know, are there allies in those other worlds? Are there allies between big business or aspects of big business? Because we found out ways in which Massive Dynamic had been involved in less good activities over there. But it's not clear whether our motives were pure or we were simply ripped off. So right. it's going to be an interesting I kind of like journey. to imagine that over there Nina is like, Walter, the secretary's boss, like she's even above him, like she's just like overseeing everything. I know what I'd like to see her as, I'd like to see her as somebody totally out of control. Yeah. That Nina's dangerous in this world, in this side, because she's in control. Yeah. Or appears to be. And that what if she was dangerous in that world because she was so out of control and she was like a, a real loose cannon? That could be amazing. I know. I That would be interesting too. It'd be fun as an actor, I'd imagine, to be able to play something. I mean, it's... You guys are doing something that's so unique in where, you know, some shows have one actor playing two parts, yeah, but yeah. you guys are getting to explore these characters which are at the root, at some dimension, the same person with the right. same name. And, exactly. But they can be vastly different. But they can be, I know. I mean, I think it's very interesting so far what combinations we've come up. I mean, specifically looking at Jessica's character. Yeah. That's a kind of damage version. It didn't quite work all, all together. Right. You know, and then you've got Olivia as a sort of polar opposite. I think it's really interesting. So that's why, in thinking about Nina, I thought, let's not go for good and evil. Yeah. Let's go for something different. So we'll see what they come up with. We do know that Walter has control over massive dynamic. Yeah. What is that going to do to his relationship with Nina? Or what, how is Nina going to take that? Well, I think it's really interesting. I mean, Josh and I just played a scene where I'm kind of like, uh, well, it was William's witch, wish, and, you know, he's very bright, your father. And uh, I, But she says, you know, my personal feelings are not at issue. So I thought, very interesting. So we actually, that tells us that perhaps she's less. So you think, so is she letting Walter go this way because she wants him to fail? Is it all right with her because actually he is the brightest guy around, but that Nina so far has had an ability to control Walter. When we needed him to do something last year, yeah. Nina was the one that finally came in and got him to move across. Right. So even today in playing that scene that you were in, yeah. um, you know, there's room to believe that when Walter sort of sorts himself out there at the end, it's because of a look that passed between us. Like, what are you doing? So. You know, maybe it suits her fine. Maybe Walter's more controllable. At least maybe she thinks that. Maybe. I'm excited to see that dynamic play out because you guys have such amazing chemistry, so oh, hoping to see that. Well, it's interesting. I think the other thing is that, you know, what, you know, we can't forget Peter's darker nature that right. we saw in the beginning. And whatever kinds of bonds and conspiracies that have been between Broyles and Nina, I think that will play out too as Massive Dynamic becomes a different sort of organization.